Hello everyone. In this episode, I'm making Turkish pide. Pide is a Turkish flatbread that's covered with different toppings such as meat, cheese, and vegetables. The toppings are optional in your choice. In Turkey, we have a lot of pita restaurants and take out similar to pizza places in the United States. Today I make my pita with two different toppings, one with cheese and pepperoni and the other one with my leftover ground beef mix. Let's start making our pita. First we will start making the dough. Place the flour in a mixing bowl and put the yeast in the center of flour. Add sugar and warm water. Wait about 5 minutes or until it begins to bubble. Or you can mix yeast, sugar and water in a different cup. Then put over the flour when it turns bubbly. Dissolve some salt in the water before adding to the flour. This will ensure it's fully dissolved. Once the yeast bubble, slowly mix in the salt water. Start kneading the dough during this process until it has a smooth soft texture. It will be a little messy but it's worth it. Also, it's really fun to play with the dough. I will move the dough to a bigger bowl as it rises. Cover the top with plastic wrap and wait until your dough doubles in size. Once the dough is ready, we will bring all our ingredients together. For this episode, I'm using a mixture of ground beef, salted onions, and tomato paste for my beef pita. I'm also making cheese and beef pepperoni. You can make yours to suit your taste. Spread some flour on your work surface and bring some of the dough over. Cut it into pieces about the size of a lemon. And roll them into balls. Flatten out each of the balls into a long oval shape. It doesn't have to be perfect. It should be about as thick as a thin crust pizza. Make sure the length and the width fit into your pan. My pita is between 10 to 15 inches long. Place the topping on the dough. This one is cheese, pepperoni, and I spread it some thyme. And roll the sides up into a canoe shape. Place them on the baking pan as you complete each one. Here is another one with different toppings. At the end, you will notice 
all my shapes are a little different. But this is not a problem. They will still taste delicious. Preheat the oven to 450 Fahrenheit degrees. Brush on some egg yolk, either on the dough or on the whole pita, and bake in the oven for about 20-25 minutes. As you can see, all my shapes are a little different. Time for some delicious pita. It is more than worth the time to make. I'm pretty sure you won't want to share with anyone. Enjoy your pita. Afiyet olsun.